my Beauty and the Beast plan with me, I mentioned that I made some of the stickers using some of my drawings. And today I wanted to show you how I did that. You can do this without even owning a cutter. All you'll need are some sticker sheets. You can have a full sheet of white, a full sheet of clear, or if you don't want to cut them out later on, you could print them out onto these circular stickers that are ready to go. You'll also need a computer, a scanner, and a free program called GIMP, a piece of paper, and a pen. To start off, you're going to want to draw on your blank piece of paper that does not have any lines. For this, I am using EK Tools pens. And I'll be linking everything that I'm using in this video down below. I recommend sketching out your drawing first, then going over the pencil with a pen. Make sure that all of your lines are connected. You don't want any gaps. You'll also want to erase any pencil lines that you have left over. Then you are going to want to scan in your drawing. So change the resolution to 600 dpi. You can save it as a JPEG or a PDF and GIMP can handle both. Then hit scan. If you don't already have GIMP on your computer, you can download it from this website, which I'll um, include a link for down below. So you will want to open up GIMP, go to file, open, to open up the JPEG that you just scanned in, go to colors, threshold, and hit OK. And this is going to convert it to purely black and white. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and this is going to smooth out your lines. Then go back to colors, threshold, and hit auto, and then okay. Now you're going to want to clean up your lines using a paintbrush tool. You can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Tool Options to adjust the size of the paintbrush. You can also change the color of the paintbrush by clicking in this box down here. And then you can go through and smooth any lines that bother you using your white paintbrush, which you can change the color of if you want to. You can also color in parts of the drawing using the bucket fill tool. And as I, you can see, I missed a few places when I was trying to make sure that all of the lines were connected. But that's okay because I can fix that by connecting the lines with my paintbrush tool. Going back in and drawing it using that tool. Now that you have cleaned up all of your lines, click on the magic wand tool button. And this is where it is especially important that all of your lines are connected because as you can see right here, I have a gap and it's going to cause this part to become transparent if I don't fix it. So I'm going to go back in and connect those lines before continuing. This is a good point to crop the image if you haven't already done so down to size. So you just hit the crop tool and then enter after you select the region that you want to crop. Then I'm going to select the wand tool again and click on the white background. This time all of my lines are connected so I'm going to select layer, transparency, add alpha channel and this will allow the layer to become a transparent layer later. Then go back to layer, transparency, threshold alpha, and slide that threshold bar all the way to the right. Now these gray squares that appear are indicating that the background is transparent. Hit OK and now you have a transparent background. I'm going to first save this file as an XCF. 
Then I'm going to export it as a PNG. You can use all of the default settings for saving this. And the reason why these files need to be saved or exported as a PNG instead of a JPEG is in order to keep that transparent background. If you were to save this as a JPEG, the background would become white again. So now we're going to move over to Microsoft Word and you're going to first want to insert a table. So I am inserting the PNG of the drawing. I'm sizing mine to 0.7 by 0.7 inches. And then you just want to quickly copy and paste by selecting entire rows and pasting into the rows below. I'm also leaving a row in between each of the images in order to leave a gap so that when I cut it with the cutter later, it'll be much easier. You can also put text underneath your images and then change the lines so that they're white so they don't show up when you print them out. Then you're ready to cut your stickers out and I recommend using a cutter to save you time and that's why we set it up in the table format so that there was enough space to easily cut in between each of the stickers. So I'm cutting this on to, cutting this out on clear sticker paper and the advantage of clear sticker paper is that first of all it makes cutting out the stickers easier because you can't actually see where you cut it and second because you can easily put the stickers over colored sections in your planner another way you can use clear sticker paper is put it on top of scrap of paper. So if you remember the frames from the Beauty and the Beast plan with me, I just used this scrap of paper. I cut the frame out. Then I just put the sticker on top. So I hope this video gave you some ideas for how to personalize your planner by incorporating your own drawings as stickers into your planner and different ways that you can use those stickers in your planner, whether it be on the white full sheets or the clear full sheets or those circle stickers I showed earlier. Thank you so much for watching this video if you'd like to see more planner ideas please check out my instagram at personalize my planner and i'll see you next saturday thank you bye